Ellen Williams, please stand up. These are the sentences that you will serve. On count one, there will be a sentence of six months imprisonment. On counts three to five, the sentence will be three years imprisonment, concurrent on each count, but consecutive to the sentence on count one, giving a total so far of three and a half years. There will be sentences of five years on counts five, six and seven, concurrent with one another, but consecutive to the sentences already imposed. Finally, there will be a sentence of one year and three months imprisonment on count eight and six months imprisonment on count nine. Those sentences to run concurrently with each other and the other sentences imposed. That gives a total sentence of eight and a half years imprisonment. Attention to reality, you know, they get demonized and I'm just one of these soldiers out here trying to bring attention back to reality. Or what the hell she, she asked? I, I was waiting for her She's to talking about the beauty standard. In. These black folks' minds are so warped. I, I, I understand why this particular person, the one in the blue, would say that because she's trying to maximize her pool of potential suitors. First of all, Man, <laughs> look at Shawty's face. Eleanor Williams. Look at her face. She did that to herself with a hammer. Luckily, well, I don't know. I don't know the details of the trial or whatever, man. But um, shit went to trial and then the jury found her ass guilty of making all this shit up. Trying to exploit that. Yeah, Eleanor Williams was found guilty of eight counts of doing acts tending and intended to pervert the course of justice, bro. Trying to capitalize off being a victim, man. Trying to capitalize off being a victim. There's so much wrong with this shit, bro. So much wrong, bro. A woman who made a Facebook post claiming she was a victim of an Asian grooming gang has been convicted of perverting the course of justice. Eleanor Williams, 22, from Walney Island, uploaded images of herself with injuries and alleged she was groomed, trafficked, and beaten in a viral Facebook post in May 2020. The post, which received the attention of ex-English Defense League leader Tommy Robinson, was shared more than 100,000 times. Preston Crown Count heard that Williams' account was fiction and that she had inflicted the injuries onto herself with a hammer. A jury yesterday found her guilty of eight counts of doing acts trying to take advantage of the uh, justice system, man. Uh, the 22-year-old previously pleaded guilty to one count of perverting the course of justice at an earlier hearing. Her previous plea was in relation to contacting her sister and mother with requests for them to take a hammer to her solicitor. Honorary recorder of Preston Judge Robert Altham adjourned sentencing until March 13th and 14th. Williams was found by officers near her home at Teasdale Road in May 2020 with injuries which she alleged were inflicted by the gang after she was taken to a house in the town and raped. The prosecution argued Williams inflicted the injuries onto herself with a hammer. The hammer was found with her blood and clothes by some of the people who Williams made allegations about were real and others did not exist, the prosecution claimed. Business owner Mohammed Ramzan, who Williams alleged had groomed her since the age of 12, gave evidence during the trial. He told defending Casey Louisville Blackwell, don't you think you have put my life through enough hell or your client has? Addressing the jury in his closing speech, he said the defendant goes online to her social media contacts and effectively finds random names on the Internet she presents as being victims of trafficking perpetrators. However, Williams denied telling a pack of lies to police and the jury during her evidence. She claimed, I wanted people to know what was going on in Burroughs still is going on, bro. That's, that's, I don't know, I'm glad the bitch locked up. <laughs> Eight and a half years ain't enough for me. She needs to be used as an example. I'm saying straight up. Because it's, it's fucked up on both sides, no matter how you look at it, man. It's fucked up for the real victims of shit like this that's happening to people. You got motherfuckers crying wolf that's going to make people question, like, valid instances of, of when shit like this takes place. When you got motherfuckers concocting this whole made-up story 
of her being groomed since she was at age of 12. She beat her ass with a hammer. Like, I mean, the bitch, she got to be psycho. Like, she's got to be off her rocker to do that to herself. Like, what was the what was the end result? What was the goal with that? I, don't, I, I have no idea. Like, what's the end goal of that? Right? And then on the, on the other side of it, like, men, you know what I'm saying? Like, luckily, the, the shit, the, the, the claims were found out to be fucking false as hell, man. But what if she really put innocent lives in jail for concocting this whole fucking story, bro? You know what I mean? When women out here realize just how flawed the judicial system is and, and to the extent it favors women to concoct a story like this. As plotted out as it seemed to be, her being groomed since she was 12, kidnapped, raped, beaten, Right, she really thought she would pull that shit off because of how flawed the fucking system is. As much as I try to highlight the men who are victims of false allegations and shit, right? And I'm going to continue to do so, right? Because you got clear-cut victims in this shit of men that she tried to you know, portray as predators and shit, man. But it just, it, it makes me, it definitely... I definitely have my heart out for the actual victims of this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it. I mean, it, it fucks it up for everybody, bro. It fucks it up for everybody, man. But, but then it's like we need checks and balances and shit, man. I'm, I'm aware of the struggle that women have to come forth with shit that happens to them that's not taken serious. And the other side, I'm aware of the men that are victimized by the false allegations and shit, man. But we just need to do a better job of evening that shit out as best as we can when we got motherfuckers taking advantage of this shit, right? Eight and a half years ain't enough of me, man. She needs to get she needs to get the amount of time a, a man or men would get for doing that to her. Because it's entirely opposite. Because she's trying to put a motherfucker in jail for doing that to her. How much time would they have gotten? She needs to serve just as much time they would have for doing what she claimed that they did to her. Then I, I would be cool. Eight and a half years, I don't think that... I, if she was kidnapped, groomed, and graped as much as she says she was, eight and a half years would not be enough. Right? But, uh, I mean, kudos to the goddamn... The, 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 the judicial system over there in the UK for handling shit and realizing they were getting bamboozled with this bitch. Anyway.